Hello, 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 my Podchamps, and welcome to the last TNT before my re-debut. I am joined today by Cozy Chew, a YouTube VTuber. An actual hello! VTuber. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I kind of am an actual V. I'm not like yeah. a V streamer. Well, I'm, I'm a still v a V streamer. But... I'm a V twitcher. <laughs> a V twitcher. I'm a V twitcher, and you're a V tuber. <laughs> you're just really twitchy. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm actually a potato. So. <laughs> oh. Oh, that explains why I like you. <laughs> but welcome everyone. Cozy, would you care to introduce yourself to my chat? Bunny. I'm Cozy Chew. I'm part of Kala Entertainment's Generation 1 Cascade. Um, I'm also a DIY VTuber. I drew and rigged pretty much every model I've ever had, uh, which is like 14 or 15 of them, I think, <laughs> at this point. <laughs> yeah, my um, chat thinks I'm bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm actually working on another one literally like right now. So I, ha I have an addiction. And I do need help, but um, it's fine. I'll get over it, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I I have been transitioning my content a little bit recently. Uh, I usually do like cozy kind of games, but I've been swapping into more like uh, strategy kind of survival-y kind of games or things like uh, cyberpunk or stuff like that. Oh, nice. But yeah. Mm. That's so cool. Yeah, so... Chat, I know Cozy because, like she said, she's a rigger. Um, True. And you may not know this, but I partially learned how to rig because of Cozy. <laughs> Which is wild to me. Yeah. Oh, God. Part of the reason I am here today is this alpaca. Oh, my so, God. So, <laughs> uh, can we please get some hype in the chat for Cozy uh, for helping me exist? <laughs> also, the ball pit. Dang it. Yeah, I don't we're going to go to DashCon again. <laughs> again? You've been? <laughs> well, I mean, I saw it. I, that's good enough, right? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> there God. wasn't much there. <laughs> it's a very cursed moment in human history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I purchased that ball pit because no one else wanted it. So, that's uh, mine makes now. sense. Yeah, makes sense. keep it here. Um, it's historic. It is. It's it's a yeah. historic item. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it reeks. It's special. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's nasty. It's nasty. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. mm -mm. What they put in it? <laughs> uh, it's piss mostly. Oh okay. All right. Well, that seems that's normal. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, well, sense. as long as we're on the same page about that. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so 14 models. Oh my god. And you've also rigged for some Personal. of your Kawa gen mates, correct? Yeah, I rigged um Honey, who is with us right now. Uh I rigged Koda, who was with us in the past. Mm -hmm. Um I helped Pasta uh with a couple of rigging tweaks for her model. I also helped Senny technically with a couple of rigging tweaks for her live 2D model, but she's like almost always just using 3D, so I don't True. think anyone will ever see it. But I will tell you that her boobs used to bounce um, in opposite directions, and now they don't. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the hydrate, and thank you for the baby, Shaggy. Oh, I'll hydrate. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Hey. You, you you want some uh, you want some some pickle juice? Oh oh, uh, not pickle juice. That, yeah. <laughs> no, it's electrolytes. I, no no, I can't I can't. Listen, Pia has been like pushing <laughs> pickle juice on us for like weeks, months, a year. I, you know, there's just so much pickle juice everywhere. I just don't know what to do with it all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. You have to put up with Pia. Now you have to put up with me. Why did you agree to this? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, yep. P and I are uh, plotting for you know like the pickle takeover. So no, yep, yep. I don't like pickles. Why? <laughs> Why? Listen, that just means more for us. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I won't hold it against you. 
good. Yeah, I you have, can have, have all my pickles. Yeah, I got I got regular. I like ginger. cucumbers. Cucumbers are okay. That's fine. You know what? Yeah. Without cucumbers, we wouldn't have pickles. So we have to appreciate the True. cucumber. True. Yeah. Oh my God, Gar. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. <laughs> this is how much I love pickles. <laughs> Well, I mean, fair, understandable, understandable. <laughs> yep, yep. Do we like that sometimes? <sighs> My chat loves to bully me when I have uh, when I have people visiting. They really oh, of love course. that. Good girl. Oh yeah, absolutely makes sense. They gotta they gotta show off everything, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they like to show my guests how much I can suffer. Um, <laughs> yeah, I so I love the mouth forms on your model. So you have updated these, right? For the new VTube Studio setup, correct? Yeah, with the new um, uh, advanced mouth tracking sort of setup that they've got on VTube Studio, ah. yeah. So chat, if you didn't know, if you're a VTuber in the chat, which I know some of you are, VTube Studio came out with an update recently that allows you to do basically vowel-based mouth forms um, that get you a, a more... A more accurate mouth tracking without the use of V-Bridger. And I use V-Bridger mm -hmm. um, because I like my little my little pucker and stuff, which on this model, <laughs> not great. But on my new one, well, uh, heck yeah. Um, how I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, we get five subs. I whip out the new model. That's that's how this works. Really? Yeah. Oh. Chat, help. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, I want to see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that's how we're playing until until re debut. <laughs> chat has to chat has to work for it. <laughs> NVU two deers. I mean, why? Oh, but, yeah, why? Because like three D tracking has such better it like does. face movement and stuff. <laughs> yeah, because like three D tracking can really use like every aspect of the iPhone AR kit where. 2D tracking is like okay gravity okay <laughs> thank yeah. you thank you all right I guess we're out the new model. let's go <laughs> all right hold up hold up let's oh. go oh boy let me get her let me get her would work <laughs> <laughs> Slipped. Yeah, I slipped, slipped my ass. <laughs> okay, hang on. I gotta sit because, oh. you know, I gotta oh, sit. Oh, so cute. You Thank you. What the heck? <laughs> oh, this is like Honey's new Honey's new outfit is a little maid girl, too. Is it really? You'll match. Yeah. I love that I'm just finishing us. up that rig for her because uh, she has like, she's doing like the clipboard sort of thing where she's got like something where she can write on <gasps> oh my God. Uh, stuff with her mouse movements. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so cool. I'm a little, I'm a little teacup for, for when I'm sitting having tea. Teacup's good? Teacup's good? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not filled with pickle juice. It's filled with tea. Hmm, <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> it's Why would you tea. have to say that? Hmm. <laughs> It's definitely not pickle juice. Hmm. <laughs> I don't trust this. <laughs> you are in the presence of a goblin. True, true, true. <laughs> Gobo, he's not sorry. <clears throat> anyway. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I I love that here. Um, you gotta be goblin these nuts, or what are you doing with your life, really? Um, true! So Alaren's saying that means I have to touch a stinky Apple product if if you want the, the AR kit. But let me tell True. you. True. Let me tell you. The webcam can be capable of a lot of things. There's a lot of programs that kind of let you optimize. Um, for 3D, yeah, it's a little different. But I literally have an iPhone 10 just as a as a tracking machine. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yep. My friend bought me one because I was like, I'm never buying an Apple product. I don't care if it's a better camera. I I'm not getting it. Yeah. And he was like. No, 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 no. Listen, you do rigging stuff. You should probably have this better tracking so yeah. you can see what it looks like. So he bought me one and it literally, it just stays on my desk. It's just a camera. Yep. Um, I, I literally, I, 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 the, 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 yeah, I <laughs> literally got it so that I could, um, track for, 
like check tracking for my clients. Yeah. Because like if you're offering like V Bridger and stuff, you have to be able to see it. Yeah. So Yeah. Kinda need to know what it looks like and stuff. So mm -hmm. I gotta manually. It's do good the to have <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the problem, my my redeems. <laughs> Oh, because they're all set for the other model still? Yep. Yeah, that's fair. I, I that's can't fair. update Mix It Up until, uh... It's okay, we'll put them on. Nice, it's worth nice, it. nice, It's worth nice. it. Oh, Wait, I uh, have eyes. Yeah, I let's can... go. Wait, hold on. I've got these eyes. Okay, I made... I made Animal Crossing models for my friends at one point, right? I made an Animal Crossing model for my friend Rilu. Oh my and God. I, I haven't rigged it still. It's been forever. Uh, but I have, like, the eyes from it, because she wanted the really weird eyes. <laughs> I love and... that. Wait, hold on. Uh, where are these eyes? There they are. I can't wait to see this. They're... Oh! Yep! They're Those lovely. Those are, like, the cursed ones. Yeah. <laughs> this is perfect. This is perfect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, We're beautiful. Mm -hmm. They even match. I love this for us. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Peepers. Yeah. Um, yeah, an iPhone 10 is the, the minimal uh I guess the lowest tier iPhone you can use. Uh I don't yeah. think they have the AR kit capabilities before that. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it does have to be like 10 and up. Yeah. So I want to talk about your latest uh, little tutorial video, Cozy, because it helped me mm. a lot, and I feel like it will really help everyone else who is a VTuber in the chat. Um, so, you put out a video recently explaining how to um, kind of enhance the capabilities of your rig in VTube Studio. Mm -hmm. And I think that's such an important thing that a lot of uh, VTubers don't know going into this is that your rig, like, it, the, the defaults in VTube Studio are not optimized, right? Mm -hmm. Even though they say they are. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like, yeah, oh, you want to do the auto setup. Oh, yeah, sure, that's easy. That's nice and simple. And then and then you, like, get in, you're like, man, I don't know. My, my rigger didn't really make this move very well. <laughs> yep. Yep. And, like... Yep. You, have you had clients that have been like, oh, wow, my model's really stiff. Like, can you fix it? Uh, so <laughs> I haven't had that, but that's mostly because every time I give someone a model, I'm immediately like, okay, so here's uh, some settings that you'll probably want to change in VTube Studio so that you can make yourself more, like, bouncy and move more yes. and stuff like that. But I was trying to make, like, a, a Google Doc of it before, and it seemed like it was still kind of confusing and there weren't really that many visuals to it and stuff like right. that. So making the video was a lot easier and now I'm just going to shove that at people. <laughs> yep. I honestly have also shoved that at people because um, I, I finished a break sort of right around that time. And I was like, here, just watch this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've already had people like in my DMs like, hey, can I give this to my clients? <laughs> yep. Yep. And uh, yeah. I think it's I think it's a really like really good practice for riggers to like give that information because some don't some really don't mm -hmm. i've had people come to me like pretty consistently being like uh why doesn't this work why can't i like when i stick out my tongue why does nothing happen i paid for mm -hmm. this and i'm like ah your rigger didn't actually set up anything in vtube studio yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's part of the job people set up your shit <laughs> Yeah, though every time, okay, every single time I've given someone a model, I usually give it to them, like, from VTube Studio with, like, all of the settings yep. that I have been testing it, but they always, for some reason, end up auto-setting it. They don't, I don't know how they do it, but they, like, take the files out and they put them in VTube Studio and they're like, I, oh, I have to reset up everything again. And I was like, how? Oh <laughs> what my did God. you do? No, I have, like, <laughs> I have, like, a copy-paste message that's like uh like do as i say basically <laughs> here we're going in the ball pit again 
<laughs> it has been so it is written, so it shall be done. Um <laughs> Listen, Gutty, it's okay to not learn live 2D. That's what we're for. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> you make the art. We'll do the ring. Live 2D takes such a a, t a long time to learn too. Mm -hmm. I mean it took so my first rig technically I did in like two weeks, but that was very stiff. Yes, me and too. And when I look back at it now, I'm like, oh god, the head warps in very strange ways. <laughs> and I remember making it too. I didn't know that I could I didn't know at the time that there was a symmetry tool in Paint Tool Sci. Yep. So I literally drew both sides of my model. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, or like I drew them and then I flipped them and tried to get yeah. them in the same place and uh <laughs> oh my god oh my god me too my first model chat has seen it some of, some of y'all have seen it um yeah it was cursed I'm like a string bean and you know I did I also did it probably in about two weeks because mm -hmm. I was like I don't know were you in the boat of like I have no money for this I'll just figure it out myself yeah yeah yeah, yeah, and I didn't. I wasn't doing anything else with my life, so I was like, <laughs> same, same. Yeah, I was on a visa. And that I was all work. I was doing. <laughs> yeah, okay, but that was all I was doing, and then I was dreaming about it. I, there was one point where I don't even remember what issue I was having anymore. I used to remember, but there was some issue that I was having with Live 2D. I didn't know how to do something. I kept testing different things out, but nothing was working. I went to sleep. I dreamt about it. I dreamt a solution for it. I went back and tried it the next day and it worked. <laughs> Sometimes you just dream. I was seeing Live 2D when I closed my eyes. It was, I... <laughs> Sometimes you just dream in warp deformers. <laughs> yeah. Epic, you're welcome to give an encouraging yet lewd some message as long as it's within the Twitch terms of service. Mm, That's all mm, I care mm. about. <laughs> Gotta keep within that TOS. Yeah, very <laughs> important, very important. Um, so, okay. Also, yo, it is Thick Thursday. It is oh, Thick shit. Thursday. You're right. I have thick thighs. Yeah, I'm gonna read this because everyone should hear it. Happy Thick Thursday. Whether you have thick thighs, thick booba, or you're thick overall, we love you all very much. Thank you for making our day soft and fluffy. Yes, like a fluffy alpaca. Scientific Let's go! <laughs> Fun fact, scientific research confirms that thick thighs do actually save lives. Let's I go! I don't know, mine take lives. Oh, well, I mean, you know, they do crush watermelon very well. <laughs> <laughs> watermelon game? More like thigh game, huh? Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god, I've been addicted to that game. I haven't started it yet. I might play it some today. <laughs> I've been playing it because there's a browser version and people I don't think oh, realize that there's a free browser version. I did not know that. Yeah, oh. I've been playing it on the browser and on my phone. Maybe I'm that's why I switch. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why I slept till 3 p.m. So I was <laughs> up playing, playing watermelon playing game. Watermelon game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, understandable, understandable. <laughs> Very like, fair. I, I kind of want to stream it, but at the same time, I'm like, I won't look at chat. I'll just ignore them forever. Sorry, there's only watermelon. I mean, but you can talk about how much you love watermelons, and, and they can just listen to you while staring at you. This is true. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm more of a peach fan, but watermelon's all right. Yeah, peaches are pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Um, I'm just, I'm, you know what? I love this. Thick Thursday. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm, yeah! I'm still, I'm still over there. My brain's like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Dude, I, I made a solitary promise, a promise to my chat at one point. I said that I would only ever draw thick thighed women. Yes. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> for your service, Cozy. Um, mm -hmm. the world would not be the same without people like you. Listen, mm -hmm. we love body positivity and VTubing here. We love body types of all sizes here. But we especially love the thickness. Mm. Yep. We're down yep. with the thickness. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> My next cover, down with the thickness. Um, <laughs> Wait, please? <laughs> I should actually. Do it. <laughs> it's just gonna be a, a very rapid montage of thick VTubers. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Ah, oh, this is content, people. Content. <laughs> Speaking of content, YouTube. Why? Mm. Why YouTube over Twitch? What is it you okay. prefer about YouTube? Uh, so I've been on YouTube for like a long ass time. I'm old. <laughs> me too. Me too. Don't worry. I've been on YouTube since like it started practically. So I'm I'm kind of used to it at this point. And mm. it's got most of the stuff that I want on it. But also I just don't like Twitch has such a culture of monetization to it. And I guess mm. because I did come from like old internet stuff, we had such a different environment where like Everything was supposed to be free, and anyone that like made something and was like, "Oh, give me, let's see those bits in chat. Come on, give me them, them subs and stuff like that." That was not stuff that anyone ever did. Right. YouTube is still kind of in that culture of like, they don't really talk about monetization as much. If they do, it's more like a, "Oh, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe," or like a. By the way, my Patreon link is in the description, or something like okay. that, right? But the monetization on Twitch is so overwhelming and constant, and I sometimes have issues with, like, you know, like, gambling or, or FOMO or stuff like that, so yeah. I have an urge to spend that money, so I just don't want to be on the site most of the time. That's very fair. That's, yeah. that's a really good point. I never really thought of it like that, because, like, monetization on, on YouTube works very differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because they want it to be out of your face on YouTube, whereas on yeah. Twitch, they want everything to be gamified and they want it all to be like, oh, well, the more watch hours you have, the more you get, the more money you spend, the more you get, the more you get like cool badges and, and yeah, oh, you could put get your name at the top of the screen or yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. And then they still take 50%. Yep, yep, that too. I did dislike that too. But like, honestly, Twitch is technically better either way, even though they take a, a bigger cut because, you know, streaming is so uncommon still on YouTube. Right. And most people don't really understand streaming culture and stuff on YouTube still. So streaming on YouTube means that you're probably going to end up getting less monetization overall. Right. So it doesn't really matter if you're getting 30% or <laughs> 70% of it. <laughs> That's very fair. I... I, I really like the, the idea of doing more like, you know, because there's some streams that I think um, function really well as like long, like, uh, what's the word, evergreen, like long form content. And I think mm -hmm. a lot of what you do kind of functions in that way, too. Um, yeah. Because you're doing like rigging streams and stuff. And, and we were talking about this before stream a bit, chat, um, that like, I feel like YouTube is a better... Um, sort of avenue for like educational streaming true yeah youtube is great for educational streaming it's also really good for like challenges or um like showing off new content for games or just stuff like that if you're just doing normal gameplay streams and there's not really something extra to it then it's right. probably better to just do it on twitch right. but if you have like a plan if you're showing people something if you're teaching them something then it's a lot better to do that on YouTube because then after you're done with it, the VOD stays up and becomes basically just a YouTube video, especially yeah. if you make them only like an hour or two long. People right. will watch it. Yeah, and I, I really like that idea because like I really want to stream rigging more. I used to stream it all the time, um, but I, I just found it wasn't really like the right environment on Twitch for that. But I think YouTube's kind of perfect for that. Yeah. So, things to also think good about. for art and stuff. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah, ugh, it's so many things to think about. So many things yeah. to think about being a content creator. It's tough. There is so, uh, Cinnamon mentioned, like, demonetization stuff. Mm -hmm. It's worth mentioning that that does happen, but, mm -hmm. like, you have to think of it more like, they're not demonetizing, they're usually not demonetizing an entire channel. Usually right. it's more like, a video gets limited monetization or, or demonetized because x copyright claim happened but right. a lot of the time you can actually dispute the copyright claims if you know that you're using things that are within free use and they'll like change it immediately and then 
if that's not the case, it's still just one video and that's the VOD that's being demonetized. You're not losing all of the money that you gained right. on that stream or anything. So it sense. doesn't really matter much because Twitch <laughs> is going to delete your VODs in seven days anyway now. Why yeah. seven days, by the way? That's insane. I know. Like, I forget to Two download... weeks for affiliates, I think. Yeah, it's two weeks for affiliates. Um, and I always forget to, like, you know... At least now they have the, like, instant upload to YouTube thing. So, like, yeah. I can upload my TNT VODs and stuff. But, like, huh, like if I forget, it's like, I'm fucked. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. I just, I, I think the transition from live content to, like, evergreen VOD content is so much smoother on YouTube. And it definitely has its perks. Um, yeah. Yeah, see? See? Alarm's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta remember, gotta remember, get your VODs. There's um, actually another um, bonus of YouTube stuff versus Twitch stuff in general. I know Twitch recently put out like their, their clipping sort of thing where you yes. can see people's clips. That's kind of like YouTube Shorts, but they don't have something that's like a community tab. So you can't like make announcements to your followers without going live. Right. And I think that's huge on YouTube. I actually get more likes on my YouTube posts sometimes on my community tab than I get on Twitter. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's like a second Twitter. And it's it's your following. It's like your actual content followers that you're reaching. Ah. So that see, I didn't really know that either. And I know Twitch just implemented um s like stories, which I think yeah. is supposed to be kind of like that, but I don't really know. Uh, YouTube, I burning. think, was taking away stories. <laughs> 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 I guess it didn't work out for that. <laughs> I'm an old fart. I only just started doing reels on Instagram, okay? I don't, I don't know. know what to do with Instagram. I, mean, I don't either. touch that thing. Me neither. <laughs> oh, and then TikTok. It's, just... oh, it's so much. It's all so much. Too many social media sites, man. I'm yeah. on Blue Sky. I'm on Miss <laughs> Key. Yep. <laughs> I just... You know what? I'm I'm glad you have uh, an agency to help you with these things because sometimes I'm like I'm like the John Travolta gif, like, huh? Like, what do I do? Uh. Yeah. Well, we're still just as confused either way. <laughs> Call Entertainment, just as confused either way. <laughs> Ride the wave. <laughs> Just go with the flow. <laughs> yeah, just go with the flow. Yeah. <laughs> Love that for you. I think I've had like more than half of Kala on my stream now at some point. <laughs> understandable. Understandable. <laughs> it's my Kawa collection. <laughs> I love those nerds. <laughs> They're very good, both past and present. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what? An old. Listen. I'm old. I'm old, chat. I'm old. I'm gonna be 34 Same. next month. I'm not that old, but I am old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad that I got to do my Bo Burnham turning 30 cover, okay? I... Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Beautiful, beautiful. I didn't even remember that that existed until a week before my birthday, and then I was like, oh god, I have to do this. I have to do this now. I can't- this is- there's no other time to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta. Take advantage of these moments in your life. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thank you for the bitty. Thank you for the bitty. I appreciate you all saying I'm young, but listen, my back tells me otherwise. Um, yup, same. Yeah, we're 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 doing our best up here. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, cozy, you're lucky. It was only your cardboard cutout in Vegas, cause wowie, <laughs> I am in pain. All right, but I was in LA, and oh god. <laughs> After Anime Expo? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and that came right after Offkai. Oh, oh man. Oh, my God. And so they're making us carry uh, stuff around and do physical labor for the booths. <laughs> how dare. How dare. This is this is alpaca exploitation. I know, right? Damn. How could they? <laughs> <laughs> You're a grandpa. You know what? Embrace it. Embrace it. <laughs> Embrace being a grandpa. True. Live your salt and pepper life. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make you happier. <laughs> How was Off Kai though? I'm thinking of going this year. 
Because that's so cool that there's like a VTuber centric was convention. It was really good. It, it was honestly so. <laughs> I had like, uh, I guess, kind of a weird experience at like the end of 2022. I went to visit some of my personal friends and right. and talk to them and stuff, but. I had not seen people in so long that I was, like, physically shaking being around people. It was scary. But I went to Ofkai, and for some reason, it was the exact opposite effect. I think because it was all people that were in the same, yes. like, work environment and the same headspace and liked the same things. And it was all, like, people with similar goals. And it was just so easy to, like, walk up to people and start conversations. <laughs> I feel that. Like, I, I don't know. Like, even just the, the VTuber meetup at TwitchCon, like, we were all kind of in the same boat of, like, becoming unanonymous to each other. Yeah. 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 Um, why they chose Vegas, uh, I don't know. Like, hey, let's take a bunch of basically social recluses and put them in the most, <laughs> like stimulating sensory overwhelming environment in probably the world uh also they banned gambling so why did they <laughs> yeah <laughs> like what was the point there was this like a, a gotcha sort of thing <laughs> twitch what were you up to <laughs> i don't know i don't know what they were thinking but apparently they're not doing it in vegas again so thank goodness okay that's good <laughs> howl thank you for the follow you're now my little pod champ welcome in how do you ban? No, no, no. They ga they banned gambling on, on Twitch. Twitch. So like, why would they do TwitchCon in the gambling place? <laughs> yeah, the place where you go to lose your money. The place that is known best for gambling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta put the head pads on. We gotta put the head pads on. Oh, head pads. It's okay. I got this. I got this. Get that this. good pat. <laughs> Look at me manually oh. doing my redeems. You look so great. cute, though. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I have all this stuff set up, but you can't put it on Mix It Up until, like, I I can't set it up on Mix It Up until I, like, redo all my, you know, I'll lose all my old ones if I input all my new ones. So, understandable, understandable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there may have been strip poker at TwitchCon. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm sure there was. Doors. I'm sure somewhere there was some strip poker going yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. None of the parties I went to, but which is weird. <laughs> yeah, how dare they? What the heck? I know. You'd think a bunch when you of walk loot in the tubers... room, you would think that they would just start yeah. stripping. Yeah. You put a bunch of loot tubers in a room, and it turns out we just drink a lot of tequila and hug each other. Loot tubers are very cuddly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of learned that from, like, sideline from Ofkai. <laughs> really? Because I saw so many people cuddling. <laughs> it's just, like, because I think it has a lot to do with the fact that we never actually get to interact in person. Like, like mm. we our whole career is centered around this job where we're never actually f properly interacting with our coworkers. Yeah. And we're all online forever. Yeah. You know, my sister had the audacity to say to me the other day, because I was like, man, there's no guys Bad in my... girl. I'm, I'm a good girl. What are you talking about? <laughs> I see you. I see you in my chair. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm She's a good, good girl. I'm being yeah. very good. I just said I didn't do strip poker. Yeah. Um, now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Something about boys? Oh, yeah. I was like... There's no good boys around here where I live. And my sister goes, well, if you weren't so chronically online. And I oh. I was like, you motherfucker, this is my job. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be. I'm contractually obligated to be chronically online. Yeah. Recently, I, I started, like, monitoring my, my heart rate a little bit. And I found out that pretty much every single time I went on Twitter, it um, spiked. But I'm like, oh, well, I have to go on Twitter to do my work, so <laughs> I'll just try to limit it in the downtime, I guess. That, that, <laughs> that tracks, honestly, though. Oh, my God. Yeah. I I don't know. Doom scrolling. It do be like that. Mm hmm. Yeah. And it's been such a mess over there lately anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> like, I think that's part of the reason I've been, you know, fiddling with 
the other social media platforms because just like mm -hmm. i'm so sick of it i'm so sick of it i'm sick of how how the website is you know becoming but also just the way people behave there mm -hmm. um and you know, i will like, say blue skies is, is very quiet still but it's like all the most positive like uplifting adorable kind of posts that i've seen on there i love that i have a blue sky <laughs> i need to actually use it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> yeah, that would it would it would probably help. It would probably behoove me to to use my blue sky. Um, yeah, it feels better. <laughs> I I think that's you know kind of what I appreciate about um, you know a lot of the VTubers I like kind of how do I say this without spilling tea. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, this show is about it is tea, about tea, so. <laughs> so I can't spill it. Um, I, I, I really value the creators who know how to curate their online experiences. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. and <laughs> them damn VTubers, yeah, I know, right? We're the worst. <laughs> um, and you know, can sort of stay in their lane and, you know, which is not to say you can't talk about issues because you absolutely mm -hmm. can and should talk about the things that are important to you and that you're passionate about. And I, I really value when people do that. But there's a difference between talking about, you know, issues, whether they're like LGBTQ issues or political issues or whatever that may be, and going off and causing problems on purpose. <laughs> Yeah. And your I think it was your tweet the other day actually where you were like, listen, my my streams are not really the place for for that and I choose how to like like you cu curate your experience and you tailor your streams to what makes you as a streamer comfortable. Mhm. Mm um and I value that massively. Because you shouldn't have yeah. to have discussions you don't want to have in your own space. Yeah. It's hard sometimes because so many people, like, expect you to. I mm -hmm. don't... By the way, I have no idea why everybody expects creators online to have so many opinions about every single event that's going on. Because, mm -hmm. like, we just... We, we're we funny on the internet. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like... like... What do you want? What are you expecting here? <laughs> I don't... I, I don't care about your Google Doc. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I have Well, okay, I semi care about the Google. Listen, I'll I'll get the popcorn. <laughs> okay. I'll read it, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I'll read it and then walk away and, you know, pour myself a glass of wine, have a nice bath and continue with my life. <laughs> I'll enjoy your Google Doc in the same way I enjoy my Neopets drama that's been mm -hmm. happening recently. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Fran said it so well. <laughs> Hello, Abby. Thank you so much for the follow. You're now my little you Welcome in. Oh my guys. Oh my god, guys. Back <laughs> stroking in there. Sorry. Tuber in V. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. My tuber in V. <laughs> Your back stroking. Synchronized laughs in that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Neopets in 2023? It's more like Dude, okay, movie. hold on, hold on. I, listen, okay, I'm I will defend Neo Neopets is back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw there's Neopets drama. I there saw there's Neopets drama. <laughs> I, I saw that Neopets is doing socialism and I love that. No, 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 they were. Okay, so they so I mean I don't th I, a lot of people have been <laughs> concerned that they uh, are just doing stuff to get on the good side of a lot of people and uh. stuff. So technically they have like LGBT flags and stuff on the site, but then they'll do things like like delete someone's pet named Sapphic Kitty. <laughs> so I don't know. Th that's part of the drama, actually. Ah, uh, uh, so it's like, you know, the virtue signaling kind of. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, people are worried that they're virtual signaling a little bit. So that's part oh, of Neopets drama. There's also Neopets drama with uh, the fact that there's this one guy that I think everybody ends up calling like Mr. 50K or something like that, <laughs> who has like 50,000 Neopets accounts. And he basically owns the economy. And he like goes around and he buys all of the expensive things before anyone else gets a chance to. And he has like a monopoly over everything. So recently Neopets has put in daily questing and they've been giving out like 
really expensive items worth like hundreds of millions oh of neo points God. to counter this one dude and his inflation and everyone is freaking out about it because either they're like yeah eat the rich or they're like but i bought this for 30 million neo points yeah and it's now like it's i suffered nothing. i suffered so now you must suffer also yeah 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 <laughs> 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 oh my god listen listen this is what gaia online tried to do as a as a person Ooh. who still goes on gaia online don't at me um okay but the avatars are pretty cute these days yeah so I, can't even listen, <laughs> I i used to be an avatar talk uh you know regular i love me i made podge i made podge on gaia online i was in the gcd all the time nice <laughs> nice nice that's where gaia online was where i started taking art commissions same. Yeah. <laughs> we owe our lives to this, okay? We owe our lives to Gaia Online. <laughs> yeah, I have a bunch of Gaia Online art on my old DeviantArt account. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. <laughs> but also Neopets art. Like, both of them, technically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what's your favorite Neopet? Obviously, the Norbu. It's like a llama. It's like an <laughs> alpaca. It's like both at the same time. Yeah. I have... Freaking Ophelia from V Reverie. Uh, she convinced me to make an entire Neopets account that's only Norbus, and now I have like ten of them. <laughs> Wait, you can have four more than four Neopets now? You can buy extra pet slots now. Be right I have, back like, on ten on, on one account. <laughs> <laughs> a panda guy. Oh my god, you're Oof. a fugitive. Oof, actual fugitive. <laughs> It's okay, I got the first time I ever got hacked was on Gaia. <laughs> no, that's a lie. It was on Neopets. It was on Neopets. It was on Neopets. Wait, really? Yeah, oh yeah. Was Neopets. Neopets was there was so much hacking on there. Yeah. Yeah. I got I got lured by the promise of a rainbow paintbrush. Mm. I got a cloud paintbrush for doing a daily quest yesterday. What the fuck? I'm about to I'm about to open my Neopets account. Hi, I'm Zelda underscore moon44 on Neopets. Uh add me. That's okay. My old account is moon underscore wolf underscore two four six. So <laughs> I love this for us. <laughs> Listen, it's I like love... twenty one years old or something. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know how old my account is. Uh, I there was you know there was a brief period in college where all my college friends were like, "What if we went on Neopets?" And I was like, "Oh, honey, <laughs> oh baby." <laughs> Does Neopets still have the little adventure game? NeoQuest? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. NeoQuest is still a thing. And NeoQuest 2. Also, they brought back Flash games recently. They got like a Flash game emulator on the site. <gasps> no way. So you can play a bunch of the old Flash games, though they're also really glitchy. They're trying to of convert course. the site into like new design stuff, but yeah. like it's a slow conversion over time. So it's kind of a mess. <laughs> oh my God. I miss Flash. I used to animate in Flash. Like that's how I... When I started working in Live 2D, I was like, oh, okay, this kind of makes sense because it's like, it's like keyframes, like Flash. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So true. <sighs> yep. I miss Flash. I miss you. Rip. Rest in spaghetti. Never forgetty. Anyway, if anyone wants to um, add me on Neopets, aha, uh -huh, Tiki, Cozy Chew on Neopets. <laughs> Let's go play Neopets with Cozy. What if we just went on Neopets? Like, what if what if we just went on Neopets? What if we just went on Neopets? What if, what if it was what if, <laughs> what if we went on Neopets? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What if the rest Podge, of the I gotta get you on my I, I have to I gotta get you on my show where I literally I just talk to people about like all of the brain rot facts that we've learned through our lives that like oh have literally no purpose to them. And we could just talk about Neopets and Gaia for like hours. I would love that. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Let's see if I can get into my account on Neopets. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't know if I still... It's I okay. They made getting your account back easier. So, like, if you can't get in, you just have to send them in, a, like, a ticket. And I'll... I, I don't... I didn't have the email, birth date, or password for one of my accounts when oh so they gave it to me the other day. <laughs> okay, okay. I have a feeling that my email is, like, my old Hotmail account, though. Mm -hmm. And that will be incredibly cursed if it is. Yeah. No, one of mine was my old Hotmail account. <laughs> oh my god. Shit. I'm I'm in the Neopets brain right now. It's happening. The brain Let's worms. Let's go! Um, 
Oh Let's go. Yeah, I, I you know, too. pretty much every VTuber uh, that I know in their 30s right now is going back to Neopets, so. <laughs> we just need some joy in our lives in this bleak existence. Yeah. We just need a, a modicum of joy. Yeah. But Neopets has daily quests now, so. Yeah, we're not asking for much. They just did a fairy festival event. It was super gay. <laughs> okay, well, who's your favorite fairy? I think it's... It's gotta probably be... Mm, I think it's the battle fairy. She's really badass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's... Uh, what was her name? Judora, the dark fairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole fairy festival was surrounding Judora and Elucin. No way! <laughs> no and way! And they were all just fighting it with each other in like the, the gayest way possible. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to listen. play Neopets next on Twitch. <laughs> oh my god, listen, part of the... I think part of my awakening about like, you know, I'm into villains was Judora. Honestly, fair. Like they're invalid. <laughs> women and evil women. End statement. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's the tweet. Complete. <laughs> Listen, I'm getting my Neopets password. I'm doing it. I'm doing. Let's I'm multitasking. Go! I'm a multitasking kind of goblin. Um, Let's go. Because <laughs> Cozy has planted the seed. Yeah, 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 join me on Neopets, and then you'll find me on the Neopets Discord talking about oh my the drama. God. <gasps> I need to know. I need to know everything. <laughs> I'm... Uh, it feels like coming home. Every day I go on there, and I just find out what tea is going on, and I just sit there and watch. <laughs> the Neopets tea is the sweetest tea. <laughs> Because it's so, it's so inconsequential. It doesn't actually it's matter. So it's dumb. fucking Neopets. It's completely useless. <laughs> and I love this. I truly, truly love this. Chat, y'all play Neopets because uh, you should join us on Neopets. There's a bunch of memes on the Neopets Reddit that are like me telling my husband about the Neopets drama. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lying awake at night. <laughs> yep. It's like, babe, I'm trying to sleep. No, I need to tell you about the economy. No, omelets have risen in price to 15000 a piece, babe. You need what? to know. <laughs> they okay. did for like a week. And I think they're listen, back to normal now. You got to know the times that you could go to the snow wager. Like, it's uh -huh. very important. It's very important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we mm -hmm, used to, I don't true. know if you ever, so I don't know if you have siblings, but I, I have a sister and when we were younger, um, we had 30 minute shifts on the computer <laughs> so that we could get all our Neopets and, and Gaia stuff. Um, Incredible. and every day at the same time we had to. <laughs> ah, Miki, hi, welcome in! It was nice to meet you too! I got to meet Miki at, at TwitchCon. It was awesome. Oh, nice! We had a great time. Hell I was yeah. very drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a mood. <laughs> yep. Listen, all those parties and stuff have so many free drinks. So. Oh, yeah. I think I paid for one drink the entire weekend. Yeah, that was how I felt at, like, Anime Expo and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Six, how you doing? Another self-made VTuber. We love to see it. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm being, uh, I'm being cock-blocked from, from Neopets because my Outlook doesn't want to load. Yeah, just to refresh it, it um it does that a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, it's you know, it's a thing. <laughs> Do we like that? I booby. No, you mean boobly eyes? Yeah. Silly. Boobly Obviously. eyes. <laughs> yeah. We got them. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> it, it, the question is not why. Actually, there's no question at all. Don't ask questions. Yeah, don't ask questions. Yeah. Don't ask questions you, you're not prepared to hear the answers mm -mm. for. Mm -mm. <laughs> you it will it'll be a, a very deep dive down a rabbit hole that I don't think you're you're quite ready for. Sh shut up! They wiggle enough. <laughs> 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 they wiggle. What are you talking about? <laughs> they wiggle enough. 
that was the secret post-con VTuber orgy. Uh, everyone yeah, got yeah, COVID. Yeah. That's how it was. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Except Podge. Impressive. I'm, I don't. I don't get COVID. Goblins don't get sick. How was TwitchCon, anyways? Um, a lot. It was a lot. It mm. was a lot. Um, it was very fun. I had an amazing time, but like between the con and Vegas being Vegas, it was mm. very overwhelming. Um, yeah, that makes because sense. Because the googly eyes, no regrets. Good, good. I'm <laughs> glad they brought you here. Um, I, I, it was. Like you said about Afkai, like it was really wonderful to actually meet people face to face, um, and be able to hang out with like my friends that I mm -hmm. like had never gotten to hang out with. Um, yep. That you've known for like great. years, but yeah. just haven't seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's been like over a year and a half now since I started doing this, and it's like I I, I just got to see everyone all in one place. Yeah. Um, which was fantastic um the con itself was really easy to get around i was actually very impressed by that like it was very spacious um you know how like most cons you're you're crammed into like the artist alley and stuff yeah this oh my god you could walk down the hallways like a normal person <laughs> well that's a bonus at least <laughs> that was not the case at anime expo i'll tell you that much oh i know <laughs> Animax was so cursed. Oh yeah, my God. not yeah. the best. Like it's so rare you get a con experience like that. Um, and like it was it was very refreshing. Um, everything I think it was all like very smoothly run. I didn't go to any of like the panels or anything though. Um, but mm -hmm. I enjoyed the time at the con that I did spend there. Um. Mm -hmm. And we all got like little goodie bags. It was really cute. They gave out like um, little Twitch shoelaces. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, actually they gave out goodie bags at Offkai too. That's how I got to try um, gamer subs for the first time. Ah. So they had like little gamer subs packs. That's cute. This is a rogue energy yeah. household, Cozy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I bully everyone with the gamer subs. I'm like you bring your filthy gamer subs into my rogue <laughs> energy household. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have I, I'm still getting used to all of these energy drinks and stuff, okay? Yeah, there's so many I'm of them. I'm a coffee girl. It's like the the avatar I, I literally have Starbucks next to me right now. Oh my god, I wish I had Starbucks next to me. Holy shit. I got a frappuccino. <laughs> I crave. I crave Starbucks. Did I get the keycaps? No, because I forgot. So if you were an affiliate, you got a space bar. Uh that said Twitch oh. affiliate. But you had to, like, go get it, and I forgot. And then the partners got, um, like, multiple keycaps. Why wouldn't they just, like, put it in your bag? If, if like, literally you have it on your badge who you are. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I don't well, know I why guess... they wouldn't just hand the appropriate bag out, but I don't know. Whatever. It's Whatever. Fine. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need my, I don't need my keyboard to remind me that I'm a Twitch affiliate. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse because it's like if <laughs> you, you get the partner badge eventually and then it's like you have the affiliate space bar still. Yep. <laughs> Just my, you know, my keyboard reminding me that I'm not a partner. Thanks. <laughs> they don't even fit don't. your keyboard. Oh, Wait, no. They yeah. Don't. yeah, they don't fit Corsair keyboards. Why? Because Corsairs have a smaller space bar than standard keyboards. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so some people, some people can't even use them. Oh my god. Rip. Well, Miki, if you don't want yours, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> that means it probably wouldn't fit my keyboard either. Oh well. Not that I care. Oh When's YouTube god. gonna give me a YouTube space bar? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but YouTube, my YouTube gives you guys space like bar. YouTube gives you guys like plaques when you do well. Twitch is okay, like, nah, fuck you, them. I guess. They don't give them. You have to buy those. You have to buy them? Yeah. They cost money. <laughs> I think they might give you the first one free, actually. And then you can you can just keep buying more after that. Which it... You have to okay. buy your own award. This is a complete tangent, but... 
at some point, uh, someone found out or like somebody from Niji Sanji said they don't get their plaques. They they like don't get to have their 100k million etc plaques, what? which annoys me so much. Finding out that they can literally buy extras. <laughs> what? They can buy as many as they want, and they just don't. <laughs> oh my god. Your femboy puppy. Thank you so much for the follow. You're now my little pod champ. We love femboys in this house. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. You know what, though? That doesn't surprise me, because there are definitely other award shows where you have to, like, buy your award. Mm. as well yeah. so that tracks that tracks <sighs> yeah you gotta pay for the shipping and stuff i guess yeah yeah but i mean i guess it, listen it makes you feel so cool to like hang that up and be like yeah i'm i'm i did good yeah you get to have yourself like carved on a little plaque and yeah. and it's it's in metal and and it's pretty yeah badass. it's pretty badass you your play buttons yeah Whereas Twitch is just like, well, go fuck yourself, I guess. <laughs> Here, have Partner Plus. <laughs> we'll take less of your money slightly. Oh, God. Partner Plus. <laughs> that whole system annoys me so it's much. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. <sighs> We're just constantly fighting against our creators. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We out here struggling. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard out here. It is. When are we going to get a site that just gives us everything we want? <laughs> Actually, there is one, and I refer to it as Blue Twitch. Ah, ah, of course. <laughs> and I love it there. What a beautiful place. What a lawless, <laughs> beautiful place. Fair, it's, fair. It's lawless in the best way, though. Like, like, they don't stand for, like, actual, like, shitty stuff like Kick does, but, you know... It's pretty bare bones over there on Blue Twitch, but you can do whatever you want. It's beautiful. I've had these head pads on for a really long time. I'm going to start <laughs> yeah. losing my hair. Um, you are getting a lot of pats. I have so many pats. So many pats. There's going to be ear pats on this one, too, that are like little ear rubbies. Heck yeah! Molding? No! <laughs> my hair did oh. fall off. Technically, I can do that, but I wonder what's gonna happen because I have these like accessories on. Yeah, they're gonna go with it. Uh, yeah, if they're pinned to your Wait. hair, they might. Oh, there they go. <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> beautiful and bald. Oh no, you lost your ears. You can't hear. Yeah. What? <laughs> huh? What was that? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Egg. That's Egg. Oh, I could yes. do that, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. See, this is why being your own rigger is a blessing and a curse. Let me get the ball. Oh, my God. The wiggles. The wiggles when you do that are so <laughs> Oh, my God. Hang on, I gotta... Throat game. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> it's killing me. Oh my god. Okay, but but I didn't I didn't make up this idea or anything, right? I stole this from Bree. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just it's the She physics. did it first. <laughs> <laughs> what fresh hell have I stumbled to I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh! I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is fresh out of my nightmares, Cozy. This is fresh out of my nightmares. Oh my god. It's the wiggle. This is some cryptid ass SCP shit. <laughs> okay, now I need to make a toggle that's no neck. No neck! <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like my head will directly be on top of my boobs. I think I made a toggle for Honey that just removes her body. Actually, no, wait, hold on, hold on. I Have you seen Honey's toggle where she just becomes like, like a mangled mass of limbs? No! <laughs> she like gets tied in a knot, practically. 
Oh my god, <laughs> like, like, biblically accurate, honey. Okay, hold on. I, I need to show you this. I need to show you this. It'll take a minute for her to load because she's so large, but... <laughs> she's so large. She's just so large and in charge, you know? Good for her. Good for her. <laughs> she's huge! <laughs> this is the joy of being a rigger. You get to fuck with everyone's model and do cursed you do. things. I have so many models. <laughs> My new favorite thing is when uh, artists do the little, like, face on the top of the neck. Yeah, oh, I just did that on mine. <laughs> I want to add that. I made an alpaca, actually, underneath there. And I'm gonna make- I'm gonna, like, rig the actual eyes and mouth on it. And then, like, I'll be able to do a- I'll remove my head toggle. And it'll just be, like, this stupid-looking alpaca on my neck. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, I love that. I love that to switch our models, we have to disappear into the void. Like, I know. I know. V streams like it no. takes so long. It'll happen. It'll happen. It goes okay, going I, anamorph. I just, to, uh, I just gotta add um, this little expression really quick. Tihi, uh, what's it called again? <laughs> what did I name it? <laughs> Alolan Executor, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the energy. That's the energy. <laughs> I really need you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. I can't believe I have oh. Honeykin here on my stream. That's crazy. Wow. wow. Oh my god. Amazing. Another okay. amazing Kawatal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> there's also, um, there's also wide oh i like wide <laughs> uh skinny legend <laughs> um monkey monkey <laughs> actually it's monkey yeah yeah uh, yeah <laughs> oh my god the joy of being a rigger oh yeah also um this is huge heck and honky tonky hoingy boingy bounce and badonkas <laughs> <laughs> they have different physics than the normal yeah. boobs. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'll go back to being me again. Anyway. <laughs> love this. Love it. Thank you, honey, for joining me on stream. Uh, it was great having you. Um, please bring back Cozy. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, of course. <laughs> fish Islands. I haven't. I didn't give her a fish islands. I, I needed to give her a fish islands, and I I, I hadn't actually gotten around should, to doing it. Yeah, that'd be a good one. I think that'd be a good mm -hmm. one for me too. It's the the fish islands face. There we go. <laughs> now I exist again. <laughs> uh, do you have any other curse toggles on Cozy? No. So I gave all the curse toggles to Coda and Honey because like oh I gave God. I gave Coda like a clown toggle. <laughs> So like clown makeup just drops onto his face, including oh like a God. red nose and everything. Beautiful. And then I gave, I, they both have like a murder, uh, like toggle where they get like this dark black thing on the top of their face, and then their eyes turn into these tiny little, like white dots, and they got blood uh -huh. all over their face and everything. <laughs> I have I have this, but it doesn't work in my teacup right now. <laughs> like oh! I'm biblically accurate. Ah, so many arms! Yeah, I'm biblically accurate. Incredible. <laughs> oh, I should make my hair shorter again. It'll work oh, if I no, do this. Oh, no, not that. There. There. <laughs> this is, uh, this is my yandere mode. Oh, do you want to see my biblically accurate form? I actually yeah. I have um I have a lovely little um picture of my biblically accurate form. Um, I, I, I recently uh showed chat my biblically accurate self you know i did a biblically accurate face reveal and oh, um, i love that and it looks like this oh uh, <laughs> wow <laughs> you're so based i know i know i know i you know it was it was a hard decision to to show everybody the true me mm -hmm. but um you know, I, I'm I'm glad to to have shown them, and even though their eyes all melted, um, they mm. they were okay with it. They accepted the true me. <laughs> yeah, you know what, cozy? This, like I said, this is a body positive space, mm. um, and I'm really proud of you for you know putting yourself out there like that. Mm. I know it's mm. really hard to do, so. Mm. 
No. Thank you. Thank you. Should, you you yeah. should be very proud of yourself. You know, I was really nervous about it, but <laughs> this is worse than the time Iron Mouse revealed her <laughs> long fur before. <laughs> Chad expected just a wait. cozy time, but no. <laughs> just wait until I do my next model and I make the neck do loop-de-loops or something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love I looking at the eyes. Yeah. Listen, Cozy's just really good at eye contact. Yeah. You you yeah. you know what? You totally could, like, if you did, um actually, if you treated it like how you would um, do skinning on a tail and made the physics mm. so that like when you move the neck like 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 curls like a tail oh when it's skinning. God. Oh my god! <laughs> like that would be horrifying. That would be, but also fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Tempting, tempting. I, very yeah, tempting. I'm like uh, open. I'm opening up live 2D. Um. <laughs> I'm making notes. <laughs> yep. This is what happens when you put two riggers in the same stream. We figure out all the cursed things that we could possibly do. That's true. Yep. <laughs> um, I gotta make a biblically accurate toggle too, because I wonder how many of my hands I could, I could put on at the same time. All of them. Every hand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one oh. will. Yep. 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 This is great. This is great. This is great. This is great. All of them. Oh. Oh, those ones wiggle. <laughs> I have so many. <laughs> I need more hand toggles. Yep. Like I have instead of doing hand toggles, I like I gave myself the ability to like That's move so cute. my arm positions. But but then I never make enough uh, actual toggles to use them properly. Oh god, now I have I can I, wave. Just... Oh, that's going it. it's fine. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it's it. Fine. What, Chad? I thought you'd like if I had a bunch of hands. Yeah. Extra hands means that, yeah. uh, you know, she can do way more things. Yeah, with I can everybody. do so many things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Religiously <laughs> use my mouth chart, thank yeah. you. Yeah. I was saying earlier in stream that Cozy's mouth chart was the one I used when I was learning to rig. I still use that mouth chart every single time. <laughs> I do too. Like when I when I um when I'm doing uh client models that don't want V Bridger, I use your mouth chart. Mm. Yeah. I so also um we were talking about the like the advanced mouth tracking stuff mm -hmm. that VTube Studio did. Technically my mouth chart already has enough forms on it to be a i u e o. So you can just use that chart and get the shapes that you need out of it yeah. for those for the advanced tracking right you just have to like make the parameters for that right yeah well you don't even have to make the parameters for it you could just go into the there's the advanced tracking settings um you hit record basically and then if you're making the sound while you're kind of like shaping your mouth in a specific way then it'll save it like that Holy crap, I didn't know All that. Right. Hey, we got a raid. Welcome, raiders. Blue Pixie, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. I am Podge. I'm a goblin made VTuber, and today I am here with Cozy Chu, a live 2D rigger and artist alpaca VTuber. Um, Hello. Pix, how was your stream? I hope you had a good time. What were you up to? If I scroll up, I can see. Dead by Daylight, how was. Did you have fun? Did you have a good time? How was it? <laughs> Did you win? Are you winning, son? But welcome <laughs> in. Happy to have you all here. If you need to take care of yourself after stream, please feel free. You do not have to stay. If you can't, I appreciate. Um, if you want to give Cozy a follow, pinned in the message here is Cozy's YouTube link. Um, she primarily streams on YouTube. Um, so True. Make sure you check out her YouTube. She also has tons of amazing tutorials stuff for uh, Live 2D and uh, getting I the most- I would say tons. I'd well, say like three. <laughs> you, know, you know what? Three's tons. You know how long that shit takes? <laughs> That's, That's true. Tons. That's true. Um, but most recently, a video on getting the most out of your live or your VTube studio setup. Um, so please go check out Cozy's YouTube. It is super helpful. I used Cozy's uh, setup instructions for this model, and I I move so much more. Like 
I know, right? Uh. See, the thing is, right? Everybody, like... When they're setting up their VTube models, they they don't think about the fact that they're probably not gonna be like making huge movements mm -hmm. all the time. Like huge sweeping, like, oh, yeah. I'm looking all the way over here. I'm looking all the way over there. Yeah. So it's better to just change your sensitivity and make everything like the tiniest little sway yeah. makes you move a lot. <laughs> what I'm finding now, like the way I have it set up, it is almost moving pretty closely to exactly how I move, but I do large movements. Um mm. probably because I've trained myself to, but yeah, also a lot of people do. Yeah. Uh I have Italian blood and I went to theater school. So like I I I statistically <laughs> I'm uh I, I make a lot of big gestures. But it's so nice to like actually have like when I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. it's 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 pretty accurate like and it's so much more comfortable than having to like force you know whiplash my head you know yeah like shove your head way up or, yeah. or like lower it super far down or yeah. stuff like that yeah. yeah um so yeah if you want to get the most out of your model please go check out that was your latest video yes on like your latest tutorial video technically but i so I don't know if it's gonna show up as my latest video. I recently changed a lot of my my membership stuff, and I I unlisted a bunch of videos that were always private as like member content. So I don't know if there's gonna be like twelve more videos above it that are just members only. Fair. I hope not. If there aren't, then it should be the most latest. <laughs> Fair. Um. But yeah, please, please, please check that out because oh my god. Saving my life out here, this alpaca. <laughs> that freaking video I made, by the way, because I just had seen so many. Okay, first of all, there was a bunch of people who do fantastic mouth tracking as is, mm. but their clients kept being like, I want feed bridger so that my mouth tracking is accurate. Yep. And it was always just that. They didn't want it for like more specific reasons. They didn't want it because, oh, it's going to make um, certain facial movements a lot easier. Or, oh, I'm going to be able to do like a lip pucker and I really want to do that mm -hmm. or something like that. It was just, I want better mouth tracking. And yep. you can get that fine with VTube Studio. So it frustrated the hell out of me yep. to see people being like oh i have to get v bridger if i want good mouth tracking yeah it's <laughs> and it's not the case at all like i think the main difference is yeah like you get the little like lip press and like pucker and stuff but i think the biggest yeah. thing is like the jaw movement is separate from yeah so you could chew movement. without yeah. your if you chew with your so i don't know if you guys know this but your your jaw is attached to your mouth open in vtube studio so yes. if you if you are trying to chew with your mouth closed your mouth always you're opens just gonna go because your jaw is moving down yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in in v bridger which is what i'm using i can go yeah yep yep can chew like, without opening without my mouth wide. going totally wide also pixie uh -huh. take care take care of yourself and thank you again for the raid have a good day <laughs> yeah so like there's there's definitely stuff that i love about v bridger also because like i have a bit of a lisp so mm. when i when i rigged this model i made it so that like the jaw lags a little bit behind the mouth movement um, mm. Because I think it makes the tongue look more accurate to how my lisp is. Oh, um, smart. Whereas, I mean, obviously that's a very unique to me kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I think it more accurately reflects how I talk. Yeah. But I think, like, for the standard, you know, anime type VTuber face, what what VTube Studio has going on now with the, like, IUO stuff is perfect yeah because you fine you get a very sort of like anime sort of mouth movement um that looks like it, it looks like almost like a frame by frame anime type motion which i think mm -hmm. is really cool and and suits a lot of youtubers really well yeah yeah like also like when, it was really funny i i um i didn't do v bridger for honey but uh, I told her about how to set up her settings, but she hadn't ever really done it. 
So she kept being like, yeah, my mouth just isn't that good. Like, I don't really know how you get it to, to do that stuff. Can I have Feebridger? And I was like, mm, no, no, but I'll give I'll give your files to you so you can like get somebody else to do Feebridger if you want to. And she's like, oh, okay. And she she went away for like a month and then she came back a month later and she was like, hey, so I finally changed my settings like you told me to and it's great now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just love, like, how when you're talking quickly, how well the mouth movements are. Like, and I don't, I don't know, <laughs> chat, if you can, like, like, see it the way I'm seeing it as a rigor. Like, when Cozy is talking quickly, it picks up each and every mouth movement really well because VTube Studio bases it off of sound as well. Yeah. Like, it's listening to your voice, and that's helping with, like, how it's choosing which mouth form to use. Yep. Yep, and I have it all set up so that it's um, all calibrated really well for the exact, like, frames that I want it to be for every single movement. It's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm happy with my mouth tracking, but I am excited to, like, mess with my new model, too, because I want to change it again. Yeah. Every single time I make a new model for myself, I change the mouth tracking yeah. a bit. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. Cause you, I don't know, it's like, you gotta challenge yourself, you gotta push yourself, try new things. Like, the next yeah. rig I'm working on is a big skeleton guy, so it's gonna be very different in how I rig the mouth, but... <laughs> yeah, no mouth gang rise up. That's how I'm feeling about <laughs> this skeleton as well, cause it's just like, open close. I have, uh, somebody won a Live 2D, um, giveaway that I did on like my first anniversary or something like that. It was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Um... I got the model for them, finally, and it's an incredibly in-depth robot model that doesn't, like, have a mouth on it, but is gonna have, like, um, the, the bars that move up and down with sound movement and stuff like that. That's the first time I'm messing with that! <laughs> chat, just, chat just made me do a fart. Ah, nice! They made me shit and fart. <laughs> How nice, dare love you? love that, love that. Listen, I've been trying to hold it this whole time. I mean, listen, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, we're not, we're not true idols. We just have to admit that to ourselves. It's true. So. We, do. <laughs> we do poop. Cover your butt. Cover your butt, yeah. Listen, we poop. It's a thing. Mm. It's a thing that we yeah. do, unfortunately. <laughs> Simon Jiro, thank you so much for the follow. You're now my little pod champ. I, uh, it's a weird time to follow, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Does it make us more relatable if we fart? Yeah, I mean, you know, then it it seems like we're more um more like people and stuff. I mean yeah. we're not people because not people. girls aren't real. Um no. but <laughs> I mean, I'm personally a goblin. True, 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 true. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't know, are goblins people? I I would classify no. myself more as a creature. Yeah, I mean I'm an alpaca, so yeah. like same. So like, are we really people? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, nah. Do I don't we have think rights? So. Nah, nah. Who needs rights anyway, though? I no. mean, kind of overrated. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, we do our best out here. <laughs> you're you're in this wasteland called the internet. True. <laughs> God, it's a mess out here. Yep. Ah. <sighs> So let's talk about something positive. You got any cool hmm. stuff coming up, Cozy? <laughs> uh, do I? I funded my docky. I need Yo. to actually. I gotta. I gotta contact the artist for that so that I can get my my docky started being made. I guess it just my model is is the only thing that I've got in progress yeah. right now. Which I could probably. I wonder if I can put that on on my face. I wonder how big this is. This is probably really big. <laughs> <laughs> Do your best. I'll try. I'll see how big it is. How... It oh, okay. It's not as bad as I thought. Here we go. You can imagine this being me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Wow. Wow, Cozy just turned the RTX on. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have ears yet. I haven't drawn the ears yet. No. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta get the podsicle. <laughs> gotta get the podsicle. Nice, nice, it's nice. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I'm working on it, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. There it is. There we go. 
Thank you, Faye. How you doing? So yeah. cute. Wait, um, I have one too. <gasps> do you? Yeah, I do. I made it into a keychain for the summertime. Aww. Uh, which I can't wait to get it, by the way. I'm, I want to see it really... It has like an actual little stick on the bottom of it. I'm so excited for it. That's so cool. So your merch is all available on the Kawa website, correct? Yeah, though the summer stuff is already gone, I think. You missed your chance, chat. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that. It's so cute. Key. It's so cute. My little my little guy. Technically, I also made um <laughs> Bitten versions. Oh my god. Help him, he's dying. I'm just slowly. <laughs> Help him, he's dying. Poor boy. He'll be alright. <laughs> so um yeah, if uh if any of if any of uh, my pod champs wanna check out Cozy's merch or Honey's merch or Plasta's merch, or any true, of the other true. Kawa uh, entertainment folks, you can follow that little link there. There's also merch of non-Kawa talents, yes. Yeah, yes. we Kawa just did a drop lots. for, I think, uh, he, he, I don't know how to say her name. You, 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 <laughs> you, 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 you I don't know how to say it. Yeah. I've never been able to say her name. <laughs> and uh, and Kumo's um, plush got funded. Yeah. I'm yeah. so excited for that. Uh, it's super cute. It's super, mm -hmm. super cute. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I, I strongly urge you, Chad, to go check out that merch, because Kawa does merch for lots of amazing VTubers. Uh, and I think you might be surprised by, by who you see on there, because it's not just all the Kawa talents. Not me, I'm not on there. Right, <laughs> I made it sound like ominous, podge, like, maybe Podge is there. The When's the pods drop, eh? <laughs> Listen, I keep... I, I, I've I applied. I keep asking. <laughs> we'll see. Eventually. They're just so busy, I swear. I know, I know. <laughs> well, because... Oh, my God. It's such a small team. Mm-hmm. It's like three people. Yeah. Like, I've... I, you got a warehouse their recently, though. I saw that. I saw that. So now you guys can, like, you know, creep around in the walls and stuff. Yeah, they yeah. put my picture up. <laughs> I I told Pidge I was like, yeah, I'm 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 in your walls eating the bugs. <laughs> mm, mm, understandable. <laughs> all those all those Texas palmetto bugs. There's a lot of them, I'm sure. So. Oh God. <sighs> Gotta get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad I don't live in Texas anymore. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't say much. I used to live in SoCal in a place that had black. Uh, widows and brown recluses, um, <gasps> and that was probably the most terrifying ever. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! I yeah, so yeah. that's actually that's how I became arachnophobic too. I woke up one really? day like ten year old me with a black widow on my chest, and I freaked <gasps> the hell out. Oh obviously, I think this is my ear pad hand. Hang on. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's the ear pads. That's the good Let's stuff go! right there. Oh, cute. There. Oh. Small little pats. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Just little, just little massages. Yeah. I love this. I should have an ear pad. I need two. I can, I can, I can. My ears can be like your ears. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get two. We can't just have one. We gotta have two. Whoa! Yeah. I need, this one. <laughs> I need it. I need it. Oh yeah. Nice, 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 nice. nice. That's oh, that's the good stuff right there. Some good pets. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Went AFK and found a spider in the ceiling fan. Oh god. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh, no. I'm so. <sighs> no. <laughs> I'm on the second floor, so like I don't get a lot of spooters. Just occasionally. Occasionally. Yeah, I don't get a lot we of have. Bugs. We have spiders, but it's mostly like wolf spiders and daddy long legs, which are. I mean, the wolf spiders are still spooky because they jump, but yeah. besides that, they're they're okay. Have you ever done spider yelling? Spider yelling? Yeah, so if you get wolf spiders, like the real big ones, and they're uh -huh. just chilling in their webs, if you start, like, barking at them, they'll freak out. They'll do, really? like, a little dance, yeah. No, I, I didn't know yeah. that. 
Yeah. What the heck? Look up spider yelling. If you're, okay, first of all, if you're arachnophobic, don't look up spider yelling. I am arachnophobic. I don't think I'll look that up, but that's interesting. But it'll make you feel better about if you come in contact with a spider, just bark at it. Like, you gotta do like a... It's gotta be like low. And yeah, they'll, they'll like wiggle. <laughs> they just like wiggle around a little bit. <laughs> yeah, they like freak out. Oh. What? <laughs> what? I feel Luna? a little bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor Kumo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see if, if you yell at Kumo, will will they wiggle? Maybe. Yeah, I bark at we spiders. Should... Maybe we should try it out. <laughs> yeah, I bark at spiders. What are you trying to say? Oh, wait, is its little legs? <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> Not barking for people or spiders, fair. I don't bark for people, but I bark at spiders. Not for them, at them. Hmm. <laughs> I was gonna say, you bark for spiders? No, I bark at them. No. <laughs> I don't. Hmm. Okay, but mm -hmm. what if it's a hot spider VTuber? So Kumo. I'll, <laughs> I'll, okay, I'll bark for Kumo. I'll bark for Kumo. <laughs> I'll bark for Kumo. <laughs> so anyway i don't bark for people mm -hmm, mm -hmm, anyway except for kumo apparently <laughs> no don't tell kumo don't tell kumo no don't tell kumo oh, fuck i just got outed i just got outed. okay the drider in Baldur's gate 3 is a good boy and he's gonna bark for me the rider yeah there's a drider and he's very sexy. Is it is he like a sexy Spider-Man? Yeah, he's half drow, half spider. That's terrifying. Why would they he's do very that? Cute. He's very cute. Um I'm I'm a big fan. Why would they make a spider drow? <laughs> he he did it to himself actually. He really he was really is like, he like the bear guy. No, it, no. Can't the, you can't, like, have sex with a bear guy without him being a bear, right? You can, you can, and it's really good <laughs> you if you make him not be a bear. It's re He's very oh, okay. attentive. Yes, big fan. All right. Ooh, spicy. Um, <laughs> okay, so the Drider guy, there is lore in the game that you can find. Um, he was a drow, and he, mm. in his devotion to Lolth, wanted to become as close to her as possible, basically. Um, so he basically fused himself with a spider and became a Drider terrifying yeah so like he is he's like he made himself that way whereas like so because he liked somebody what the f <laughs> he, in devotion to his goddess oh okay because she's a spider yeah. queen like she's she's a big like spider mommy yeah so he was like this is the highest act of devotion i can like think of is to also become spider i guess it makes sense <laughs> he seemed I to be guess. a very lonely dude he was living in a cave that's fair. Yeah. When you don't have someone to like to like check your role, sometimes you do some crazy shit. True. <laughs> <laughs> like if he had a friend, this I don't know that this would have happened. Yeah, if he had just like one person who came by, I was like, dude, are you making yourself into a spider? Stop what that. What the fuck what are you, you doing? Knock it off. <laughs> Bro, let's just go get some ice cream, okay? <laughs> yeah, like it'll be fine, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Esme gets it. Esme knows. Esme knows the the non bear scene. Oh, would non bear fuck again? Yep. I thought that you couldn't. I as far no. as I heard, it was like you, impossible to not make him a bear. No, no, when no, you no. Were, when you he were doing like, it, he like kind of has a, a a an overwhelm of emotions and turns into a bear, and then he turns back, and you can be like, no, I liked it. Continue, or you can be like, oh, it's okay, and continue and he'll not turn into a bear or you can be like nope that's too much i'm the fuck out of here i see yeah so people probably just picked the no it's okay that you're a bear thing because they were trying to accept him yeah. and, and just ended up with bear bear sex yeah. forever <laughs> no oh my god because when he's not in the bear form oh i was i was collabing with someone at the time and i hit that scene and i'm just in the background going oh Oh, oh my god! <laughs> like banging my desk, like, like. Oh. <laughs> I was not okay. 
<laughs> I was not. I was not okay. Just... All right, but the the demon mommy who really wants to touch oh, you yeah. but can't. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Carlac. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Wife mm -hmm. material. For mm. sure. For sure. For real. <laughs> <sighs> that game just it just hits. It just hits. Hits I so haven't many even cases. played it yet. It's I don't have money for all the games that have been coming out. There's <laughs> so many freaking games. Yep. Chat. We gotta get cozy Baldur's Gate three. <laughs> So that I can have sex with a bear. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The alpaca versus bear. Uh, alpaca on bear action. Uh, yeah. <laughs> can we get some alpaca bear action? <laughs> some wild shape action. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is completely unrelated, but they're apparently putting alpaca mounts in Final Fantasy fourteen. Are they? <laughs> yeah. Wait, you play fourteen? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <gasps> oh, really? What do you mean? Uh, mostly warrior and dancer. I'm a bard main. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. <laughs> I used to flex bard and dancer in Savage, but a bard is where my heart lies. Dancer oh. is fun, it but is. it does not do the same DPS. <laughs> no, no. It used to be better than bard, and then bard's got rights. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like playing DDR. It's I I really like how the dancer rotation works. Did you it's see the the new um? Uh, the, there's like a new rogue class the, that they're playing. The Viper. Out? Yeah. 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 I'll Darth probably play Maul. that. Me too. <laughs> I'm I'm a big old Darth Maul simp, and I'm like, oh, you mean I can put the swords together and be and do Darth Maul shit? They yes. can be one. Oh yes. hell yeah! <laughs> yes. Yes. <gasps> You can go from both ends. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> you two are so cute. Thanks. <laughs> listen, listen. We, we, we're just out here. Out here listen, I've listen. had a hell of a week. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm. You, you know what? I hope that I have at least been able to give you a little good, relaxing, fun experience through your hell week. Yeah. It's been a week. Yeah. <laughs> you poor thing. Ugh. <laughs> you, it's you, nice to hang out with people, though. Yes. It's it is good to have company when you're going through it. Like, mm. it's it's rough when you're kind of just like stuck in your own, in your own brain rot about like all the things. Yeah. 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 So that's why. That's what you know. What that's why we do what we do. Because we just try to make people a little happier. And that includes mm. streamer friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Viper is everything I want a rogue to be. It's, yeah. Basically same, actually. Because mm -hmm. I played rogue and I was like, oh, this is good. And then I, I realized that turned into ninja and I didn't want to play ninja. I don't like so ninja. I just stopped. Yeah. I just gave up. <laughs> same. There's classes I haven't even unlocked. <laughs> oh, I haven't unlocked the majority of them. I think I only have unlocked like... Uh, I think I unlocked Monk, but that's because I roleplay, so I had to have, like, the punchy uh. hands. Um, and then I unlocked Blue Mage because mm -hmm. I liked, uh, uh, murdering myself with a bomb sometimes. Right? It's fun! <laughs> In the middle of town. <laughs> and you then... also roleplay, I love this. I do, I Me do. Too. Me too. I'm on Mateus. <laughs> uh, I have a character on Mateus, actually. Um... Oh, really? I, I'm an Aether scrub, but, you know, we got some good roleplay on Aether. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I got, like, roped into it by my friends, so I was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll join this surf. They're all on here. Yeah, that sounds fine. I don't, I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I really enjoy Final Fantasy roleplay. I, I tell people a lot. That's, uh, that's how I got my house and my wife, my ex-wife's house and my, <laughs> and, and, and upgraded a free company house. Okay, I'll be honest with you. The people who who do the like ERP for money make bank. <laughs> uh, we do, we do, we do. Make bank I out there. I have easily made over a hundred mil in Final Fantasy by being a dummy mommy. I the best that I did was I made a hundred k because I I uh, did fight RP with somebody and they enjoyed it. So they were like, here. That's awesome. I was like, what? You don't have to give me money. And they were like, no, no, no. 
I like that of, fight. <laughs> one of my friends does fight RP, and it's so cool to watch. Like, sometimes I'll just go to watch people do it. There's There were tournaments on Mateus yeah. for a while. There was, Ugh. like, combat tournaments and stuff. Very fun. Yeah, there's, there's, um... There's a place on Aether that does, like, tavern brawl nights where, like, you can sign Ooh. up and do, like, 1v1 stuff and people can just watch and it's really cool. I used to go to a place like that. But the places that are, like, houses, they, they change so much over the years. Yeah. So, lose track of all of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I used to, you know, I used to, on a Friday night, hit up all the all the venues. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. I just wish I didn't have to buy a sub every time. I just, I don't, I, I could, like, listen, if they just gave me the ability to go only to Ulda or something. Yeah. I, I, that's fine. I'll do that until I want to do content, and then I'll pay my sub, please. <laughs> that actually would be a cool way to do it, I think. Mm-hmm. We have a question. Since Halloween is around the corner, uh, did you two used to read or have you read the Goosebumps books? Yes. Yeah, I used to. Also, yep. I was bigger on um, Nancy Drew at the time. I read a lot of Nancy Drew when I was younger, yeah. Um, yeah, I love Nancy Drew. Okay, so I, I don't know if this one's specifically Canadian, but we had a show called Are You Afraid of the Dark? No, 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 we had that too. Okay, was it yeah. in America? That was mm -hmm. scary. Yeah, that was good. Like, the only Goosebumps ones that freaked me out were the ones with the dummy, with the ventriloquist dummy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I watched that again. Um, la I think last year around Halloween time, I watched that one again, and it's still just as creepy. <laughs> People who get into ventriloquism need therapy. There's something wrong with you. Why? Like yeah. I don't mean to general I don't mean to generalize, but I do. I do mean to generalize. That's that shit's scary. How can you look at that thing? The dolls Why? are so spooky. Why do they need to look <laughs> like that? Why can't they be cute? I don't know, man. Why you have to show every single joint and, and like uh the mouths and, and the eyes are just like wide open all the time. Just They all look murderous. <gasps> yeah, they all look murderous. I don't like it. I, I have a lot of questions, but I don't actually want the answers because I just want to stay as far away from those things as humanly possible. Yeah, As, as goblinly possible. Night of the Living Dummy! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah his Ugh. name is Slappy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna slap him right upside the head. Is what and I'm then he gets, a, he gets a doll girlfriend at one point. Yeah, I remember like, all of this. <laughs> they knew. They knew what they were doing. They're like, this is our scariest asset. We're just gonna keep making Slappy stuff. They have three of them. Yep. Three episodes of that thing. And yep. I, I think each one of them are like an hour long or something. Like, I think it scared me extra because like I'm really short. That thing's probably the same height as me. Like, if that thing was chasing me, we would be eye to eye having a fist fight. Like or was it four actually? I forget. I one know. of actually one of the the things one of the Night of the Living Dummy um books was not turned into an episode. So it like skips weirdly it goes oh. like one two four or something like that i don't remember which episode they actually skipped but yeah i'll have to dig into the lore do you remember the are you afraid of the dark movie uh i don't remember what happened in it but i know i've watched it the the are you afraid of the dark that always got to me was the one about the pool with the thing in the pool and then they like pour that orange stuff in the pool and it shows the big scary thing Oh, yeah. I yeah. remember this. Yeah. That was the Are You Afraid of the Dark that messed with me. Yeah. I was also afraid of water at the time, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you get childhood trauma. Because I couldn't swim. And then, and then like, my friend's dad just grabbed me and tossed me into a pool one day. No. Like, <laughs> time oh. to learn. <laughs> <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, I mean, my. he was right there, so I knew it was fine, but at the same time, I, I sure did learn how to doggy paddle quick, that's Oh, sure. boy. Oh, boy. One of my very few near-death experiences was in a swimming pool, so, like, I, yeah. Oh, pools no. Are, pools are, I, okay, I, it was my own fault. I did a stupid. <laughs> I may be stupid. Um, we had one of those, What'd you know? What'd you do? Okay, you know when you go tubing, how there's the big inner tubes, but they have that, like, fabric thing around them with the, like, fabric bottom, so that yeah, you don't, yeah, like, yeah, 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 so you don't go all the way through, right? Right. So, my grandparents had one of those, and we would put it in the pool, like, and sit in it, right? 
and I thought it would be a bright idea to jump from the side of the pool onto it, right? Oh. And so I jumped, and it kind of, like, slipped away from me a bit, so I landed face first in between the fabric bottom and the tube, and my face was, like, stuck in between the layers, um, and, like, you know, it's fabric, so the water gets through it, so I was just, like, stuck there flailing until I got myself out, but, like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh god. Near-death experience. It was very scary. Oh, no. Yeah. It was a very, well, it was a very podge move. You made it. <laughs> I did. I made it for better. You got out. Years. You escaped. Yeah. Yeah, and now you're all stuck with me. Yeah! <laughs> stuck with? You're a blessing. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Just where <laughs> I want to be, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what if we made hard eyes at each other in the Twitch stream? <laughs> we would never, would we? <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> That'd be so wild. <laughs> No, sinner. I think I'm more of a curse, but thank you. <laughs> Not nah, blessing. Blessing and a curse. <laughs> a blessing in disguise. <laughs> no, me and Slappy would not get along. <laughs> I would kick his ass. I would kick his ass. I will 1v1 him. I will 1v1 Slappy in the back rooms. The Disney Plus made the Goosebumps season one, episode one, the first. Oh, it's like a new one? Like, like new Goosebumps? I remember the Say Cheese and Die one, though. It was about, like, a cursed camera. Yeah. I, I remember watching that, that kind of so, recently, too. Was it, like... Did they remake it, or did they just put all the Goosebumps episodes on Disney Plus? They remade it? Really? Huh. No, I thank you. I think I watched you. all the original ones. Oh, my God. I don't even have Disney Plus right now. I want to finish Owl House. I never finished Owl House. <laughs> I have Disney Plus, but I'm too lazy to, to use it because I have to get, like, the Roku thing to put oh, on my yeah. TV. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. my TV's too old. Yeah. I can, but, but I can have Netflix natively on it, of course. <laughs> but not Disney Plus. That's no. weird. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, what are you doing for, what are your Halloween plans? What are your, what are your spooky plans since we're talking about spooky stuff? I had more Halloween plans until earlier this week. That's Unfortunately, true. my cat is going through some stuff right now, so I have to be kind of available to take care of her. Yeah. But, like, I was going to play... I'm probably still going to do a lot of the things I was going to do, so I'll just do them after Spooky Week. Yeah. So, like, I'm going to play um, this spooky game called Franbo. I, do you know Little Misfortune? Yes. Okay, Franbo was made by the same people who made Little Misfortune. I didn't know that it existed, but somebody in my stream chat was like, are you gonna play Franbo? And I was like, what the heck is that? I looked it up. Apparently, it's kind of a similar-ish art style to Little Misfortune, but okay. it has way more body horror. Like, so much more body horror. Oh. oh There's I'm gonna have so to much blood. I'm gonna have to come watch it play. <laughs> so it's like an actual proper horror game, but I think I can take that one. Most horror games, I can't. I, I'm big baby. I'm big baby. Yeah. I always have to make chat hold my hand. But I'm okay with like psych horror stuff and it seems like it's more psych horror and it's oh, more perfect. on like little misfortune gameplay it? style. So it's it should be okay. We got a raid. Hayden, welcome in raiders. Welcome, welcome. We got a giraffe raid. I think Cozy a has giraffe. the perfect toggle for that. Welcome, welcome raiders. Welcome Hayden. I hope you had a good stream. What were you up to? Just chatting? What were you chatting about? See? Look! I can't believe we have a giraffe right here. And definitely not an alpaca. Hi, giraffes! Hi! What's Represent. up? Represent. Represent. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you had a good stream. Raiders, I am Podge. I'm a goblin maid VTuber. And today I am joined by Cozy Chew, an alpaca VTuber uh, who streams on YouTube. If you want to give Cozy a follow, you can click the pinned link in the chat. <laughs> Your fifth <laughs> raid today. Holy crap, you're riding the wave. I love Dang. it. Dang! Oh love yeah, it. you're on a you're, you're on, on a, a train. Journey. Yeah. I love that. Are you meeting new people? Quest. 
Hell yeah. That, I think that's one of the funner things about uh, Twitch. Yeah, I mean, YouTube has raids, but they're kind of more structured and, and scheduled and stuff like that, so... Ah, that's interesting. You can only do raids for people who have them open, and you can only even do raids if you have over a thousand subscribers, and, like, there's oh, so weird. many requirements behind it all that it doesn't work the same most that's of the time. That's wild. Yeah. Heck. Well, Hayden, I hope you had a good stream. Feel free to tell me about it if you would like. Otherwise, make sure you take care of yourself after stream. Hydrate, have a snack, do a little self-care, whatever that means to you. And thank you again for bringing your community our way. <laughs> I can't get yeah. over it. <laughs> oh, this is so blurst. You did random horror <laughs> games? Nice. We were just talking about horror games. Um, yeah. I was talking about... Franbo. 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 I so, also love psychological horror, so I feel like I'd be very into this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I only really like psych horror. I can't do like normal horror games. Like, <laughs> dude, I got I got Visage. <laughs> I hate jumpscares. Which was Yeah, I uh, know. It was a terrible decision. I was like, okay, well, I've seen all of Amnesia before, um, so I shouldn't play a horror game that I've seen before. I probably should have just grabbed Amnesia, because I probably wouldn't have been able to take it anyways. <laughs> yeah. It would have been cheaper. But I got Visage, and I tried to play Visage, and I was in the menu like 90% of the time. It wasn't even fun to watch, kind of scared. It was just sad. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my and God. then my best friend was with me for like moral support. So we eventually were like, okay, no, I can't keep, I can't keep doing this. I just, I can't. Yeah. So he was like, okay, well I'll play Five Nights at Freddy's and you can watch. <laughs> and even <laughs> that was too much. Yeah, I, I will not play Five Nights at Freddy's. People come in here and they're like, oh yeah, you know the singing Five Nights at Freddy's? I'm like, actually, no, I do not. I will not play that game. Get those fucking animatronics away from me. I can't do people chasing me, especially yep. in the dark, and I can't do jump scares. <laughs> no. You know what game I played that I quite liked? Um, Layers of Fear. Oh. Very psychological. There's, there's a few little jump scare moments, but it's very appropriately timed. Like, mm. um, and it, it's, it's very, like, psychological horror very good storytelling um it, yeah it was really good there's a second I one properly i properly get into playing ib too because oh. i know ib is like really old but it's also kind of psych horror stuff mm. yeah i i want to play more more spooky games but i feel like i should always play them with a, a friend present because otherwise yeah. i'll just sit there like you're right i'll be in the menu <laughs> Literally, yeah. No, that's why I invited my best friend. I was like, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, so yeah. I need somebody there for like moral support and to like help me and stuff. You gotta hold <laughs> and hands. It still didn't work. It still didn't work, but it's okay. Psych horror is fine. So I'm um, I'm gonna do Franbo. Uh there's also technically um Outer Wilds has some spooky stuff to it. It's not like a spooky game, it's more like a mystery game. Yeah. But it's like spooky kind of mysteries in space. And then apparently the oh. DLC for it is is pretty spooky. So I'm, I wanted to try that stuff out. I'm terrified by space. Like I think it's oh. I think it's normal to have a healthy fear of space, but like I'm really scared of space. So like if you really want to freak me out, games about space. Like I love Mass Effect and stuff, but like I just, you know, it it sits in your gut like, "Oh my god, what's actually out there?" <sighs> and then yeah. I go like down and have an existential crisis and, you know, Okay, but what about the ocean, though? You know, the ocean doesn't freak me out. Really? No, I'm like, oh man, there's so many weird little guys down there. I would be more afraid of the ocean, I feel like. Yeah, the ocean scares me more than space. We know less about the ocean than space. <laughs> I just... We can't get down deep enough to learn more about it. It's too dark down like, there, too. <laughs> the ocean is contained. Space is like, is it mm. contained? Do we know? I don't know. Like... Uh, it's it's I the guess space it's the vastness. Can come for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like we know that the ocean is contained to this planet. Yeah. <laughs> At least. Yeah. As far as we have concerned. to go to the ocean. Space could come to us technically. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. in the space. <laughs> yeah. Um, how much would we have to pay you to play Five Nights at Freddy's? Listen, if someone paid me a thousand dollars to play Five Nights at Freddy's, I would. Don't say that, don't say that, don't say that. They'll take it they'll take it seriously. Listen, TwitchCon TwitchCon fucked me and not in the fun way. I have no money. If someone wants to give me a thousand dollars to play Five Nights at Freddy's, I'll do it. 
I'll okay, do Okay, understandable. <laughs> also, uh, you know what? 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Um, Celeste, Ace, and Generosity Heart, thank you for the follows. You're now my little pod champs. Oh my god. <laughs> and Manic... Oh, my Man credit card. Manic Pixel Bean Girl, I love your name. Thank you so much for the follow. That's a really good name. <laughs> you gotta get the podge to cool. All my redeems are manual right now, chat, because we're on the new model and I haven't set it up yet. So you'll have to bear so with cute. me. That's so cute. I'm not it's straight so for $20. Cute. It's $20. Um, um. Yeah. <laughs> Never hope. Thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it very much. Um. And for, for everybody who came in with the raid, I'm doing my re-debut with this model. Um, we, we hit a goal, so I'm using the model now, but we're doing my re-debut on Halloween night. I'm dropping my new metal song, uh, my original song that I wrote and performed called Monster. And uh, we got all kinds of fun stuff planned. New overlays, new emotes, the new model, lots of fun stuff, so. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. also excited. <laughs> Soon. Soon. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's coming. It's happening. Cover your butts. It's only like five more days. Oh my god. I have so much to do. <laughs> oh, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I got all the big stuff done. It's just, you know, I can't. There's a lot of stuff I can't switch over until, until I'm, you know, done with this setup, which is, this is the last one. This is the last Twitch stream before re -debut. Do I feel like a monster? Honey, I am a monster. Spoopy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, but how, how do you feel knowing that uh, next time you're on Twitch, that's it, it's, it's, it's time. I'm really excited. I'm also very stressed though, because I have a lot of people <laughs> coming on. To <laughs> We're doing like a rapid fire trick or treat stream. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> we're we're gonna do our best. There's gonna be scuff, but it's gonna be fun. I'm really excited. It'll all go great. It'll be fine. <laughs> it will be fine. You were born with unnaturally sharp teeth, Ayo. So was I. Only my canines. I'd love that for you. I'm. I mean, vampire alpaca. Oh my god. Uh, coach Halloween <laughs> costume. Kind of like Bonicula, but an alpaca. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alpacula. Alpacula. Yeah. Alpacula of the alpacalypse. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Listen, I I am shamelessly into vampires, so... <laughs> People with sharp teeth, I mean, I'm like... I'm looking. Vampires are pretty hot. Also, they are. Biting is kind of hard. Right? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Cozy, you get me. You understand. <laughs> you get it. Ah, I'm so glad that we are here. Two creatures of culture. Just <laughs> vibing. Having some tea. Spilling some tea. And talking Convincing about Convincing you to join Neopets others. again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Neopets. All that good stuff. It's very, very wholesome times here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Chad, have you considered joining Neopets.com? You know Neopets.com is currently doing a push to <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They're remaking the site there. Yeah. <laughs> Please join us in Neopia. Oh. Uh, I'm still trying to get my password reset email. Okay. It'll wait. take a this couple is, days. I this think. is my Neopets what? thing. Actually, it didn't take that long for me. It took only like a day or something okay. for them to email okay. me back about it. I'll keep my eye open because I definitely have- a little have... bit faster recently. Yeah. I'll, I'll figure it out. Mm. <laughs> if I- Biting is very, very hot. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I might just have to make a new Neobets account, but that's fine. Yeah. I'll do it. Join me. I will. I will. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spreading it like a plague. <laughs> yeah! Neopets are a disease. And we're okay with that. That is true. Join Neopets. Join Neopets. <laughs> <laughs> Ominously behind Cozy. Join Neopets. <laughs> the Reckoning. 
has gotten so large. <laughs> <sighs> oh my guess. On that note, we're we're reaching our our mark, uh, our mm -hmm. time. I don't like to keep folks too too long because I know you've got stuff to do. I know you got stuff to take care of, cozy. So now is the time. Show yourself once again. Tell everyone in chat about you, what you do, and uh, chat. Make sure you check that pinned message in the chat for the link to Cozy's YouTube because Cozy streams on YouTube. That's true, I do, but I might start streaming uh, simulcasting at least to Twitch soon, um, at least with a couple of things. I'm not gonna be doing everything on Twitch, but I wanted to start simulcasting potentially like uh, collab things or talk shows or stuff like that. I have a talk show that I do every week on um, Saturdays called Memory Leak, where basically I just bring people on and we talk about like a bunch of um, old brain rot stuff that we've kind of learned through our lives that's not really gonna help us with anything ever. So like I talked to people about Warhammer and history facts and um, Vocaloid last week. Oh my week. god. Yeah, uh, and then uh, I talked about Neopets one week myself, Homestuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So oh it's basically God. all of the like old sort of knowledge that you've collected through your life that you just, you know, all of those. It's like a special interest stream, really. I, I love that because like I have so many special. I like shiny rocks. I'm really into shiny uh -huh. rocks. Oh, I have a rock collection. <gasps> really? Can you show me? Yeah. Oh, my God. Can you see me your shiny rocks? Pictures of, I'll try and find my pictures of my rock collection, Heck but I, yeah. I literally have a rock collection. Heck yeah. <laughs> I love <laughs> this. I'll show you my shiny rocks if you show me your shiny rocks. Yeah! <laughs> no, yeah, I wanted to do it like uh, a talk show with friends, but like everybody does the cafe thing or everybody does like some sort of like normal kind of you're sitting down somewhere in a bar or a cafe or yeah, something yeah. like that. So I wanted to do something that had some kind of different purpose. Right. And nobody really gets to talk about a lot of their interests because they're all like, well, nobody's going to listen to this because who's going to listen to me rant about Neopets for an hour? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I want to hear everything you have to say about Neopets. Um, Hell yeah! And like, that's kind of why I like this format too because it gives people an opportunity to just kind of talk about what they want to talk about. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Like, I don't... The standard interview format, nah. -uh. I mm -hmm. want to I want to hear what you're into. So I like interviews, but interviews also just take so much prep and everything yes. too to set up yes. and you got to get the questions figured out and you have to I usually send questions to people ahead of time so yeah. they have like an idea and yeah. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So I do memory leak every day on or every week on Saturdays uh for the most part up until I have until December schedule. <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> that's good, though. It's good to be prepared. True, um, but it's also a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> and also, chat, if you are a VTuber yourself, make sure you take a look at Cozy's videos, um, especially the most recent tutorial video on uh, optimizing your settings in VTube Studio uh, to get the most out of your rig. Mm -hmm. Very, very helpful stuff. I appreciate it massively. I actually, so I have a webcam set up um, and stuff like that. So I, I'm actually planning on making like a follow up video of of like differences in setting up your um, rig for webcam. That's to awesome. try and make your your rig look better with just a webcam instead of like, because I know not everybody has the whole iPhone set up, mm -hmm. and not everybody so, wants an iPhone. Yeah, because I I sure didn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got mine as part of a payment for a rig. I yeah, was like, pay me in your old same, iPhone. Same, actually. <laughs> it wasn't intended to be that way, but like it became part of a, yeah. a payment for a rig. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, you're, so your Android phone will work the same as a webcam does, more or less. If, yeah. Uh, if you're working with Android. The only one that works differently, really, is iPhone 10 or higher um, because they use the iPhone AR kit and um, iFacial mocap. So. Yeah, which which kind of is like um, your 3D tracking sort of stuff. It, mm -hmm. it pays more attention to your face shapes and like you can wiggle your mouth back and forth or you could like stick out your tongue yeah. and stuff. And 
<laughs> like that. Well, what app? <laughs> what app? It's VTube Studio, silly. Yeah, so what we use for VTubing for 2D is VTube Studio, um, but uh, you, you would also download that on your phone or on mm -hmm. your, like, if you're using webcam, you just do it through the PC, but if you're using your phone, uh, you download VTube Studio on there as well, and then your phone yeah. and your PC will talk to each other. Yeah. <laughs> Um, there are tons of tutorials on YouTube for it as well, so if you need help setting up, there's lots of stuff there that can help you. And I'm hopefully soon, after my re-debut, going to be posting uh, a video on best commissioning practices for Ooh. getting a model and getting a rig so that you understand what it is you're buying, what it is you should be asking for, and, um, you know, stuff like, do I need V-Bridger? The answer is no. Um, can you please <laughs> yeah. um, go over like the very yes. basics that your model absolutely should have? Because, yes. dude, uh, one of my friends got a model at one point and it literally didn't have like like your your irises couldn't move. They what? only stared straight ahead and they were like, yeah, that's just how I rig. And it was Excuse? like, what? But that's like part of the basic thing yeah, that, that you that... need to do. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to, you know, make a video that kind of goes through when you're getting a rig done, look for these things, um, ask these questions, make sure you're getting what you pay for because it's tough. Like we're all kind of out here running our own business <laughs> in a way and there's there's no manual there's no manual for this we're all just doing our best so mm -hmm. um I, I i hope that you know between the two of us it gives people a better understanding on uh on how this whole crazy world of vtubing works mm -hmm. yeah so chat make sure you go give cozy the good good like and subscribe over on ye old youtube and uh we are gonna set up a raid Huh. We're gonna raid. We're gonna actually. Is there anyone you would like to raid, Cozy? Uh, if you're not sure, that's okay. I don't follow enough people on freaking. <laughs> <Twitch. That's true. laughs> fair, fair, fair. Um, because I do have someone in mind. Yeah, if you got someone in mind, let's go. Okay, we are going to raid a lovely bun that I got to hang out with at TwitchCon. Um, we're gonna raid Roy. Roy's playing Lies of right! P. Yes, because I know. Wait, am I not following Roy on Twitch either? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I I don't follow anyone on Twitch. I always feel so bad about it. I come on and like I realize like I'm on someone's channel trying to watch them for like an event they're doing and I'm like, oh god, I gotta follow them, but I don't want to do it while they're live because then they're gonna call me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well you're about to I be forget sent there. Again? <laughs> you're about to be sent there. So we're gonna we're gonna raid Roy and Cozy, thank you again for being part of this today. Mm. I'm very glad to have had you. Cozy and Hodge. Uh, hang on. This is this is gonna be your raid message. Wow, I couldn't even spell my name right. Imagine being able to spell in this day and age. All right, it's too it's too tough out here. <laughs> it is. This is gonna be your raid message. And if you don't have my emotes. It'll be this. This is my last Twitch stream before re-debut. I will be back Halloween night, 6 p.m. Eastern uh, for the re-debut of my new model, my, my new song that's dropping that day, and so, so much more with some amazing guests. Cozy, thank you again for being here, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.